Alright guys, so today we are going to be checking out a brand new game from Game Studio, Neocraft Limited, called League of Pantheons. Now, if Neocraft sounds familiar to you, it's because they're the people behind some other popular titles such as Eternal Sword M and Tales of Wind. And League of Pantheons is their latest offering, so Neocraft hit me up to, uh, you know, take it for a spin. Now. I do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Neocraft, but as always, I'm not going to let that affect my opinions or overall assessment of this game. So hopefully, it's just awesome. And uh, with that said, let's hit that start button and jump right into it. Alright, uh, so we have an assistant here, Adventure. Welcome to the Adventure Continent. I've been waiting for you. For a long time. The Demon King is about to break through the seal and reappear. We need your help. Now tell me your name. Alright, so I'ma just go with something simple, such as my actual name, Tiger. Alright. And uh male is fine. Okay. There we go. Broken ancient souls have now become heroes, and with their power, they can unlock the artifacts and defeat the Demon King. Go and summon them now. Let us awaken the oh, okay, so we are <laughs> summoning immediately. Usually for gacha games, um, they like to take you through like a, I don't know, 10, 15 minute tutorial before you get to the summons, but literally within the first 30 seconds, we're summoning. I like that. I like that. Okay, so we're doing a single, and that is the summoning animation. <laughs> Very nice. Look at that. And we got a three star... It looks like water hero or hydro or something to do with wetness. It sounds weird. Okay, so we got her and now we're going to fight. All right. Let's begin our and we hit boss. First, we add our new character to our team and we're all set. Okay, so as you guys will notice, this is what you call a passive mobile game in the sense that you're not really actively fighting the enemies, right? Like, the game essentially plays itself, and there you go. We beat the boss, we're now level 2, we got a bunch of rewards, and also some gems. I'm not sure what any of this stuff actually does, but okay. So, now we got some gifts, and it says clear story mode to get Valkyrie for free. Okay, so Valkyrie looks freaking sick. The character design for this game um, already looks very, very clean. So that's a good start. All right, so I'm gonna claim this, whatever I got. Okay, we got some armor, it looks like long sword, a chest plate, a helmet, and some boots. All right, Heard of so heroes can also be obtained through shard fusion and the Tethys shard. Yo, okay, <laughs> one minor complaint, one minor complaint. The text disappears too fast. I cannot read that fast. So Neocraft, if you're watching, please just slow down the text a little bit so slow readers like me can actually read what's going on. Okay, so now we are doing something with shards. Oh, so these are the shards we got before. Uh, Tethys shard, use craft heroes. Oh, okay, so you collect shards, and then once you have enough shards, you can actually obtain the hero. Very common mechanic for gacha games. Once and now we have a four-star Tethys. Okay, upgrade heroes. hero to gain more powerful stats. And now it looks like we can upgrade her. So let's do that. And we can also equip the armor we got before. Time to set out on an adventure again. Okay, so let's see what this uh, four-star hero can do. Add her to our team, and start. Okay, so the boss uses Tsunami. Wait, do we use Tsunami? No, that was us. That was us. Okay, so I'm guessing Tsunami is one of Tethys' skills. And we got a bunch of stuff again. I don't know what any of this stuff does. I mean, I know what Aventure EXP is. I know what gold is. But what are the gems for? Summoning maybe? Hopefully for summons. Okay, in the elf shop, uh, there are often rare items on discount. Let's have a look. Okay, so apparently we're going to the elf shop. 
And that is an interesting looking elf. I think we like her. I think we do. Anyways, um, what a bargain. So it's 150 gems for a summoning scroll. Okay, so we use the gems to buy summoning scrolls to obviously summon for heroes. Uh, advanced summon. I missed it again. I missed it again. It said something about a free summon. I did catch that. So we're going back to the summon here. And now we're going to summon on the other banner. Uh, advanced summon banner where I'm guessing we can get better units. So uh, let's do our free summon here. And I'm not sure if there are different animations. Or is it the same animation every time? Because last time we got a 3 star hero. And it was that animation. This time we got a 4 star hero. A druid. And it was the same animation. So maybe they haven't implemented like different animations for different rarities yet. I mean at the very least they gotta have a five star summoning animation right like when you get a really rare hero they got to do something different to make it more hype right i mean hopefully at some point in this video we get to see that but for now we have this four star druid and she says i'm not the only one i don't know what that means she's not the only druid or she's not the only centaur girl who knows okay we got her though Okay, and now she says Blitz helps us grow and upgrade faster. Don't forget to Don't forget to what? <laughs> the text is so fast, man. Is it just me? Am I just a really slow reader or is the text going just really really fast? Okay, so now we can hit this Blitz button. Tap Blitz to get piles of EXP and gear. Interesting. Blitz to get 120 minutes worth of gains. Blitz perk. Plus 3 free and plus 11 buyable attempts per day. Oh, okay. So, essentially the way the game works, uh, I believe, is that it's doing stuff in the background even when you don't have the app open. And then after a certain amount of time, you get X amount of rewards based on maybe the level you're on or some other factors in the game so if you hit blitz then you're getting two hours worth of um rewards immediately as opposed to having to wait that amount of time so uh, i'm guessing there's a limit to how many times you can use this but since we're in the tutorial we can get it right now and uh, let's accept that all right and now we leveled up twice we got some gold some voyage clue don't know what that does and some gems okay and let's close that got some more gems very let's nice continue. and let's continue all right so as you can see our team our heroes are just doing stuff in the background um passively getting us exp getting us gold getting us other resources that you need in the game and now we're gonna fight another boss so let's add the druid to our team and our power level is now over, we're just under 4,000. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. I'm guessing that things get harder later on. You know, the enemies get harder later on, but since we're in the tutorial right now, I'm sure they just want to make us feel good and uh, allow us to just crush everything in one hit. Um, okay, so she said something about artifacts. I'm not even trying to read anymore. Just because I can't keep up. I can't do it. So, artifacts. Alright. Uh, Eric's Axe. So we're going to hit Eric's Axe. We're going to claim this. And we got 50 gems for that. So, is it like a mission kind of thing? Where if you complete all the missions for that item, then you get the item? Maybe? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, so we're fighting another boss. Oh, Druid can heal. That's sick. So there's definitely a team building aspect to this game. Where uh, if you want, I'm guessing, beat the harder bosses, the harder enemies. Then you have to like have a healer, have a tank, have some DPS. Have just like a proper, properly composed team, right? Uh, non-stop adventure, non-stop battle. <laughs> Why do I even try? Alright, she said something about 
just non-stop fun. Something like that. We got our rewards. Uh, the more stages you clear, the more you gain. Let's keep going. Alright, let's keep it going. Now, can we always fight bosses? Or is that only like, you know, every once in a while? Because there doesn't seem to be a limit to these like, boss fights. Alright, let's start. And let's see how hard these guys are. Oh, we killed one of them already. There goes the other guy. And... Yo, I'm really good at this game, guys. <laughs> I'm really freaking good <laughs> at this game. I don't, I'm, I, I don't mean to brag, you know? I, I don't mean to brag, but I'm just like apparently amazing at League of Pantheons. Okay, so now we're gonna go to power up. Hero level, quick, simple power up. Okay, go. Let's level up our Arthur, who is, uh, I, I'm guessing the default guy, like the first guy you get. The fastest way to improve a hero is... Let's just, let's just max out our Arthur as much as possible. Oh, we ran out of stuff. Okay, so we need these, um, green potion things. The green spring water can be used to upgrade heroes levels and stats. And we can get it from elf merchant and story mode. Okay, so I guess that's the most we can upgrade for now. And now let's go uh, back to the main city. And I'm gonna try to, can we maybe summon more right now? Uh, let me let me try, let me try. So, oh, we can, okay. Oh, we had a scroll. We had a scroll from before. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Okay, so, as you guys saw, there was that rainbow swirl thing, and we got our first 5-star hero, which is Sphinx. And let's see her skills. She's got Frenzy Raid, active skill, Sphinx rips her prey apart with sharp claws dealing 209% P damage to random enemies in mid slash back row, with a 59% chance to silence them for one turn. Damage plus 30% if targets are mages. Interesting. And then there's passive skill, uh, wings of storm, attack plus 40%, crit rate plus 20%. That's nice. Uh, active skill, lethal judgment. Judgment from the Lord of Wind deals 374% P damage to the enemy with lowest HP. Damage plus 25% if the target HP is below 40%, recovers HP equal to 25% of max HP if the target is killed. And then we have uh, a passive skill, Realm of Wind. Damage plus 25%, crit rate plus 15% during skill. When Sphinx takes the first strike on your side, otherwise Sphinx has 100% chance to randomly attack one more enemy and deal 80% damage of original skill. Interesting, interesting. All right, so yeah, we got our first five star. Um, the design, once again, is very cool, man. I love the wings and the claws and everything, the horns. Wait, hold on. Are those horns? No, that's her other claw. The one above her head. I thought those were horns. But anyways, that is really, really dope. Okay, well, we got her. Okay, let's um add her to our team here. Let's see. Uh, How do I do that again? I forgot. <laughs> uh, In battle, get Sphinx and save setup. Okay, and let's go back to the fight here. Let's see uh, how we do in another boss battle. And as you can see, as soon as we added Sphinx, our power level went up by like 4,000. Wait, hold on. Like 3 to 4,000. 3 to 4,000. So, yeah, that was quick. That was pretty quick. Can we do another boss battle? Here we go. Frenzy Raid. Yo, she hits really freaking hard. <laughs> she does a lot of damage, man. Okay, I want to do more summons. I, I want to do more summons. So I think we have enough to get at least one more summon now. Uh, I'm going to go to the elf shop and visit our friend, the elf. Um. Oh, I can't grab this anymore. Hold on. Uh, can we refresh? We can refresh. But can we get a summoning? What is this? Arena ticket. I want to do more summons though. How do we do that? Wait, maybe Maybe 
there's some stuff in the gift box. Because uh, it's a new game, right? Usually for new gacha games like this, they uh, tend to give you some free stuff in the beginning. So, okay, there we go. We got 200 gems right there. Uh, do we get anything here? We got some missions. So we can grab some more gems there. Okay. And I don't see any other way to get more gems, but hopefully we can at least do one more summon here. We can. Okay, so a regular summon is 220 gems. So let's do one more. Uh, okay. And we get another five star. We cannot. We got a three star Storm Huntress. Okay, we got the Storm Huntress. I'm gonna go back to my team. And can we add her? Oh, it looks like we can only do five heroes, at least right now. Maybe we can unlock more slots in the future once we, you know, level up and stuff like that. But it seems like five is the max. So uh, there you go, guys. I kind of have a decent feel for this game. Um, it's a very, I mean, it's like simple, but also kind of complex in the sense that there are a lot of mechanics behind the scenes, like the equipment, like the artifacts, um, and the team composition, like team building aspect and all that stuff. So it's definitely going to take me some time to figure everything out. But honestly, based on what I've seen so far, it's a pretty interesting game. It's a pretty interesting game for sure, because these are the kinds of mobile games I like, you know, like when you're playing on your phone, generally speaking, you don't want to have to do too much. And a lot of times, you know, you just want to pull out your phone and just like play for a couple minutes or just like check what's going on. And this is one of those games that gives you something to look forward to uh, throughout the day, right? Like every couple of hours, you can open it up, get your rewards, see what else you can do with those rewards. And um, yeah, if you need a game that's just kind of mindless, I guess it's really easy to play, then this is definitely something that could be for you. So uh, I'm probably going to keep playing it for a while, see if I can pull some more 5 stars. And if you guys are interested in checking this game out, League of Pantheons, then make sure to head down to the link in my description and it'll take you directly to the uh, download page. And uh, before we go, let's collect our rewards real quick. There we go. And why don't we do one more boss fight? All right. And uh, yeah, thank you to Neocraft Limited for sponsoring this video or giving me a chance to check out your new game. There we go. Like I said, guys, I'm amazing. I'm amazing at this game. And uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.